Okay, I think we are about ready. We're on there. there we go. Okay. <clears throat> Let me get a couple things set up. Good, uh, computer's good, uh, laptop's good, phone's good, uh, monitor's good. Okay. So, uh, we, uh, we did a lot of stuff yesterday. Mainly a lot of minigame stuff. We are now at the point where we need to go to Joke's End. I already, uh, ended up going there and get the green pipe, but that's all I did. But we did a lot of mini games. Let's see, we did a lot of mini games. We finished Har Hall's uh, like clothing. We uh, did got the high score on the two mini games, like the barrel mini game and the arcade mini game for the achievements. I think we stole a few things. We explored the ocean. Got some achievements there. We finished all the coffees in Bean Bean Kingdom. Uh, is that all we did? That might be all we did. Anyway, so now it's off to Joke's End. Where jokes go to die. This is probably the final uh, stream because there's not much of the game left. And the depressing music that is Joke's End. Oh, we also got Luigi's uh, final bros move. So we still gotta power that up. Oh, I forgot one thing. One second. I want. Not only is this music kind of depressing, it's very repetitive. Okay. Uh. Hold it, you two. This palace is our play playground, understand? Do you two want to play here too? In that case, the least you could do is say hello to those of us who were here first. Eh? Me? I'm Jojora. Jojora, she's a Jojo. The, uh, the protag of Jojo Part 10, clearly. I I'm a buddy of... The cousin of the descendant of the spirit who once guarded this place. A buddy of the cousin of the descendant of the spirit who guard once guarded this place. Oh, wait. Oh. Give me a sec. Um... Oh, that's about right. That's about right. Sorry. Princess Peach. Balletta. Man, I have no idea what you're talking about. Whatever. Look, if you want to go inside, then go right ahead. Be my guest. Go nuts. I don't know what kind of adventure you've been on to get here, but man, getting through here won't be nearly as easy as you used to. No way. That's what you're used to. Well then. Well, we gotta get through the end anyway. There's not many achievements left. There's... I'm gonna say it's mostly just story stuff. Mostly. So now we got ice sniffets. I don't think there's anything to steal. Okay. I still need to work on Cyclone Bros. may have another shot to... Yeah, I could get another Cyclone. Yeah, that's kind of why I didn't time my jump right. There we go. I lucked out there. Let's see. I guess it didn't really matter which path you took. if you can even make it over here. Just 
follow the spirit. Let's see. Yeah, this is a pretty big area. Pretty big map. A lot going on. Alright. We have... Uh, what do we have? Glurp. One damage. I think they can only really be damaged by... Uh, the elemental attacks. That's not what I meant to do. Not what I meant to do, damn it. Oh! We also got a new enemy as well there. Clump. On. I wanna check something. Is there something to steal from? Uh, from Clump. I wanna double check what I can steal. Uh, I still haven't stolen from the gold beanie, and that's probably not gonna happen. I don't need to- I really don't need to worry about anything here, so... The poison cloud is very deceptive. You kinda need to, like, stand in the- like... Part of the cloud needs to actually line up, kinda almost overlap your- uh, Mario or Luigi. Same speed as, uh, Queen Bean's, uh, one-arm attack. Good to know. I think it does... The Poison Cloud does damage once it hits the middle. So you got a little bit of leeway. Duplicates. I, I wonder if you get full health. Or is it like half of the health is split up or something? See, like, when Luigi was basically fully covered by the poison cloud before I actually jumped and I still didn't get hit. I skip because I don't like them. Right, there are hoop beans here somewhere, but we don't we don't need more. It's not like we need to make them for coffee. Oh, speak of coffee. Hold on. So let me take a look. Woohoo beans are, blends are the easiest to make. Because they're the green beans, and it's plus four HP. We'll probably hand some to Luigi, maybe. Uh, Ho-Ho beans are probably one of the harder ones to make, and it's plus four BP. At this point, after the hidden blocks, you need to do the surfing minigame. Chuckle Blend. That's the ones where they're underground. It's plus four speed. Again, that one's eventually going to be only... You're only able to do it through the... Uh, through the surfing minigame. Teehee Blend, that's the... Just getting beans from minigames that boost stash. That's easy. Colombian. Okay. Boost power. Chuckachino boost defense. Ah, Tihispresso is a random stat. But it's also a plus six. That's an interesting decision. Okay. I think that one was the green ones and the minigame ones. So, 
the easiest ones to get can give you a plus six to a random stat. I don't know if the amount of beans used is worth it to make that one. I don't know. Um, let's go ahead and try to knock them off his wings. Cyclone! There, we got rid of them. Oh, and we got the advanced level! That is the only time Luigi was the one to come up with the advanced technique. And Mario's like, I got it! Alright. Well, let's go ahead and use a super. and let's test out this advanced technique. Uh, I have no idea how to use this, so we're just gonna use the normal one. Okay, so it's just oh, okay, I see it, I see it. Once the attack is done, you press B. I'm gonna try it again. Wait, hold on. This is 50 HP? Ah, yeah, sure. Close enough. Alright, I'm trying that again. Another syrup. It's fine. I want to test it out like in full. Again. See if I can see if I can pull it off. I guess I'm not getting enough charge. Oh, okay. I got it to work, and it can stun. Again, Cyclone is not my favorite, and it's clear I'm not getting the max spins. It's clear I'm not maxing it out. Because, uh, I'm not pressing A fast enough. Hmm. That's weird. I think he's weak to fire? Oh yeah, we could get rid of his toupee and he runs away. Or we just burn his hair. Either way, he runs away. As a meteorologist, I am particularly interested in the whirlwinds that appear in the seas of this area. When rotational energy is added to warm updrafts of air, whirlwinds occur. It is quite fascinating. I would love to research this mechanism further and test it out somewhere. And this guy's just kind of here, chilling. And minding his own business. So, I don't think there's any, like, special enemies I need to fight. I already maxed out all my advanced moves, so we can just kind of... ...move along, I think. I'll just use a super mushroom, heal Mario. There we go. He should be weak to fire. Yep. Luigi, you might as well use... Uh... We can use a super. We can use a super. Max out. We don't need to use Bro's moves for a while. So that's all set up and ready to go. Level 32. Mario, um, 
what do we want to boost? Just more attack power, more speed, maybe? Try to really focus on your... Uh, your strengths. Well, we got plus five from speed. I think at this point, Mario should really focus on speed for a little bit. Luigi, I really need him to have HP. For an achievement. That we need to do. If I have to use coffee, I have to use coffee. I think at this point, I may just start trying to skip enemies. I'll fight whatever I actually run into, but... I am obviously overleveled. Blue beans. Refreshing herb. Gun block. How's everything going? Everything's going good, Tyler. Uh, we took care of a lot of the annoying achievements yesterday. Like the art, like the high score based ones. And now, based on what we have left, we basically just have the rest of the game left. You know, mostly just beat the game. So we're probably gonna be finishing it today. I just maxed out Luigi's uh, last bros move, so it has the advance unlocked. So right now, going through Joke's End, and with its very, very repetitive music. Probably least, you know, this song is probably the only one that's just so far not good. But how's it going on your end? But yeah, we may end up actually finishing this today. I can't think of what would probably stop me. At this point, the only thing that would probably stop me is if life gets in. just like an hour or two in, right? I don't need Rally Block. Okay, there's nothing else in here. I know that uh, Retro Achievements has sets for those PS1 games. Uh, I wonder how complicated they would be for, like, RE2. It's a good thing, uh, you missed out the best part of yesterday's stream, trying to beat the Donkey Kong minigame, the barrel minigame, and get 20 points out of it. It was hell. It was just utter hell. Like, that was not fun at all. Say, joke broth soup. Do not boil. It's actually been years since you played, so you've forgotten just about everything about the game. So maybe not a fresh playthrough, but as fresh as you could possibly get on a replay playthrough. Not bad. Okay, okay. 
I wonder if this song's any tolerable in the in the remake of the you know in the 3DS version. This is where the real challenge starts. Look, you probably should just give up and go home. Okay. Up. Oh, we got some slimes. Gotta actually split up for a while. It's Mario alone. And Luigi alone. We can't do anything about that. Uh, got some items. Let's go. Wow, that's a lot of enemies. I'll just, I'm just, right now, I'm just at a point where I'm fighting what runs into me, but I'm kind of speed, trying to speed past enemies. Mario has got this covered. There's nothing he needs to worry about. Except when he trips. Light the hair on fire and he runs away. I don't know if we get EXP for that, but that's okay. I just want him out of here. Oh, and it's not even guaranteed. So yeah, yesterday on my own time, I was playing Twilight Princess a little bit more, but I'm at the point where... Uh, I, basically, I finished the desert, and like the next set of achievements is basically like just take care of all the fishing stuff. And it's like, okay, I'll spend hours fishing and just never get anything done. I still don't have all the fishing done. Honestly, like, I'm trying to find information on, like, some of the fishing stuff online, and there's, like, no good information that I'm trying to look for. It's all on, like, different sites kind of scattered around. Like, one site might have some useful information here, but not good information there. Uh, that's one of the annoying parts about, like, a minigame no one really pays attention to. Uh, no, I'm not at the okay. Not the right spot. I need to, I need to go north. Go in here. Perfect. Let's go! Now we go this way. Obviously, don't give up as easily. Cool. So this is a present from me to you. Press the A and B buttons to hit the blocks that come flying and score points. If you get 30 points in 25 seconds or less, I'll open the door for you. Cool. Time to play this mini game. It's been a while. Back in Hoo Hoo Woo Hoo Hoo University. It's the last time we played this little mini game. That surfing minigame took me a little while because they want you to get like 38 seconds done on that thing and it is a strict time limit. I also got lost trying to find Spangle. So, I guess there was, like, an indie showcase the other day for Nintendo. I didn't watch it. 
but I guess I saw some of the the information after it. I should have watched it because I thought it was just an indie showcase and that's it. But apparently it was more of a it was also a partner showcase, so like third party stuff. Uh, if they hadn't already, Dragon Quest 3 Remake got a release date of, like, November 15th or something like that. Um, but apparently, Castlevania finally announced their, uh, the DS Castlevania collection. So it's like, cool, now I don't need to spend hundreds of dollars to get all three games. So I definitely will want to pick that up. And I think the Marvel vs. Capcom collection got an announcement, uh, a release date for next month. I think. Right. There we go. Other than, that's all I really know about that stream. I should have actually watched it. Also announcement for a different uh, Capcom fighting game collection. Oh, there was? Yeah, I must have missed that. Again, I didn't watch it. What was it? Do you remember? Like, two Capcom fighting game collections announced? Wow. I know there's beans I could get. That requires a lot of backtracking. It's not like we needed anything out of it, unless I wanted to make more coffee. You're the most stubborn people I know. No girls would ever like you. It's just an assortment of sub-fighting games, but the big draws were Capcom vs. SNK and Power Stone. Oh! So it's basically just every other fighting game that couldn't be uh, thrown into something. That's, that's nice. Be like, hey, if it doesn't really have a series, but if it's a fighting game, it goes in here. Power Stone's a big one. A lot of people like Power Stone. I want to get this guy off his wings. If, it, if these guys are anything like the other ones, uh, it is, uh, they can revive. So I want to try to get rid of them. Attack. Nope, failed that. Kind of like the other fighting collection that was mostly Dark Darkstalkers with some other sort of stuff, right? But at least Darkstalkers had like three games to it, so they were able to just kind of uh, keep a certain theme, you know? And there was also Red Earth in there, but I think they've actually crossed over before. So, like, it was kind of like a monster-themed fighting game collection, more or less. Honestly, this fight is very annoying. Might have to close move just to get rid of these guys. and that he's going to revive. No, he's healing himself. Good. Get rid of the medics. Now we use thunder. Thunder. Fire. There we go. Got it. There 
we go. Flipping through these for really quick. Yeah, that Capcom versus SNK one is probably a big, probably a big deal, honestly. It's not often that, I don't think it's that often they can re-release re crossover games, you know? Because, you know, it, they have to make deals with both companies to make it work, you know? Even though I haven't picked up some of the other fighting game collections, because fighting games, like, I'm kind of starting to dabble in them here and there. The Marvel vs. Capcom one, I think I want to pick up, mostly for the reason of because it's a crossover game. And because it's licensing stuff and Disney's involved, you know, it makes me want to get, you know, it makes me want to pick it up. Because if they ever, like, decide to delist it, you know, you kind of want to, you know, make sure you have a copy before Disney decides, now nah, we're done. You know what I mean? Kind of like the Scott Pilgrim versus the World game back in the day. Yeah, I also haven't played any of them as well. I might have dabbled in some here and there, like, actually played one of them at an arcade or something. Uh, I think I tried three at a friend's house, but I'm not good at fighting games, especially when... Uh, it, especially when I never played that type of fighting game before, so I'm not used to, like... I'm not used to, like, oh, here's how we do combos. I just kind of button mash and fail along the way. Okay, Mario needs healing. are done. That's fine. Yeah, I, I feel like I want to pick up mostly because Disney may just delist it. Because I hear that was the reason why this collection took so long. It's because of Disney. Disney and their licensing stuff. Like, they were just being very difficult. So I th that's kind of the main reason I would want to pick up Marvel vs. Capcom collection. I mean, I also want to actually take the time to maybe learn how to play, like, Capcom 2, you know? Because, you know, that's the one everyone loves. Like, I need, like, those training modes to be like, okay, here's how you pull off certain combos and stuff. Oh, we're 
some stomach jokes in. Okay. But yeah, uh, if... Since the other one has... Uh, Capcom vs. SNK... That's also one to consider. Because that's all, you know, crossover and all that. However, I feel like... SNK and Capcom are probably a little bit more buddy-buddy right now, considering that uh, Terry's in Street Fighter VI and all that. So... Maybe there isn't as much of a rush to get that one. But it's still probably a good idea to pick it up at some point. You know what I mean? Yeah, okay, I wasn't quick enough. It's fine. Don't know what the barrel's for, honestly. I'm gonna grab this. Ultra Mushroom. Again, you gotta be quick. Yeah, it's a very tight window. I already saved. Welcome! You're the first people to ever climb all the way up here. Cool! You're pretty darn determined. Let me reward you with a little something, okay? Don't just stand there. Have a seat and relax for a bit. Inviting one of my pals over today. They're all good people, but I'm only inviting one today. Who would you like to invite? Hmm. Chuck Lisa? Oh, uh, uh, Olina? Oh, Ho Ho Lia? Ho Ho Lia? Or T. T. Hina? Hmm. Who do we pick? Uh. It honestly doesn't matter who you pick, though. So, let's go with. I just now noticed I think all of these are based on the. Beans. I don't remember. Uh, Oho Oasis, Chucklehawk Woods, Ho Ho Mountain, Tiki Valley. Oh, right, okay. Let's go with. Ho Ho Leah. Oh man, you two have really good taste. Ho Ho Leah, come here. Introduce yourselves. Ho Ho Leah. Are you done with me for day? Then please sit back and relax. Gahaha! <laughs> well done! Now take good care of our honorable de guests. Notice she didn't have her, like, little doll. Hey, I'm cool, you creep! Uh, Jojo Rod didn't have her doll anymore. So now that we've knocked away her wand, she's gonna run away for a little while. We want to try to steal from... Jojora's friend. It doesn't matter which one. The Sledgeheart. That's what we were looking for. Although we did have the Game Boy Horror SP, so we could have got it from the drop. Thunder Bros. Okay, you get healed by electricity, that's... Oh, I remember how this fight works. Okay, hold on. Yeah. Let's go with Fire Bros. Now he will. Gah! Well, now you changed your hair color. That means you're now weak to lightning. Let's try this again. Well, did we get the defense to install it? Maybe. How's it going, Hawkhorn Dog? Uh, so now you get healed by fire, so we're just gonna shoot. Let's try that again. Yeah, 
I got the crits. We're gonna attack Mario. Oh, messed up. 21 damage, that's, that's a lot of damage. And I didn't even get the attack drop. Huh, well, for now, let's go ahead and... Let's see if we can steal from Jojora. Oh, she only takes like one damage. I'm fine. So a video about Minecraft is boring, and then another video will keep up with that video before watching the Marvel Strikers. Okay. Just someone that doesn't like Minecraft, huh? I mean, look, I don't care for Minecraft that much. You never talk to a lady without her permission. I mean, you should probably just never touch anyone without their permission. Oh, she gets healed by the snowstorm. What's that? Uh, uh, basically react videos or debunking videos. Was the first one even well crafted as a video? When they, they find it boring now. They love, love it, but they say the scaling of enemies is a difficult deal. The game is as fun as it was before. Ah, it's like I liked the game when it was better, sort of thing. Can't like. I feel like I'm not getting the defense of the attack drop when I should be. Might as well just... I need to heal someone. Oh no! And <laughs> Luigi's been poisoned. Let's go ahead and cheer him up. Freshen her. The second video pointing out very clearly Minecraft is a sandbox, so it's all for you to prioritize building, crafting, exploration, combat, right? That's the first time Luigi died, and of course it had to, he had to die to a uh, status effect and not actual damage. Luigi, you're a champ. You only need half health. There we go. Ah, oh, jeez, I'm not getting my timing right. And man, that poison must be, like, guaranteed. some damage. Yeah, just kind of talking about, uh... Oh, I messed that up. Yeah, it's still a lot of damage. Yeah, just kind of talking about, apparently, that, uh, partner showcase Nintendo did. And how, uh... I didn't watch it, but there's like a new Castlevania collection with the D uh, with the DS Castlevania games. Some games got release dates. There's another Capcom fighting game collection coming out. Don't like Minecraft because I don't. Like it. I've tried. I've tried Minecraft a couple times. It is just not a game for me. sold the item, so that's good enough. What did you jerks do to my friend? How dare you! You are so uncool. I don't even know if you can beat Chujora. Like, I just... I never attempted. Eh, playtime's over for the day. Over, 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 over! Run away. Jerks! Almost at the drop-off point for the for the uh, the trade, you know. Yeah, you. I don't think you really missed that much hot corn dog. You really just missed the dungeon leading, all, like all the way through, Joseph. So the fink rats have come at last. Now is now is the time when you hand over the bean star, you little men. Send the bean star up to the uh, up to the top of this pedestal and be hasty. 
Well, it's Luigi alone. Send the beat star up here. Oh, -ho! I am laughing at you. I can see through your pathetic designs, you ugly thing. That was a fake bean star. Now, you give me the real one. Villains that are actually smart. Hard, you idiots of stu stupidity. Idiots of st uh, stupidity. I love Fawful's great. Fawful's a great character. Mario has an idea. Hmm. What is the plan? Well, we still got the. We gotta catch up to them. Get Peach. They got the bean star. They need to, you know, give us Peach. Oh, great, Paoletta! At last, we have the bean star. I am joyful. You have done well. Seeing through their fake bean star ruse and ruining their plan was brilliant. Do you need something? Or are you finally admitting defeat? Huh? What are you saying? You want us to return Peach? Oh, I have to laugh. We would never release Peach to scheming liars like you two. You reap the beans you sow, fools. Now meet your doom. Something's wrong here. Two princesses? What, what is this? The Princess Peach you kidnapped is an imposter. We expected this to happen, so we prepared an imposter. You fell into our trap. No, it can't be. Come, Mario, let us return. Wait. Forget this cheap knockoff. I'm taking the real Princess Peach. Oh no. They got the real Princess Peach. I guess. Somehow. Remember when I said that they were smart to get through, uh, ignore the Beanstar fake one? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Mario, thank you. I always believed you would save me. Oh. Hey, yeah, th that should also go to someone else. <laughs> At last, we have both Princess Peach and the Beanstar. I still have rage over that fake Princess Peach. They're, they're a slick bunch, uh, And you, Princess Peach, you're a sly one, too. <laughs> By the way, Princess, why are you covering your mouth with your hands? Do you hide something? Back ah, behind you! A humongous cockroach! Waffle? Did you see that? Yes. Mustache. Fawful? Yes. Fire at will. It's Luigi! How did you trick us? Because you're not as smart as you think you are? Hey look, it's another game where Lu oh, it's implied Luigi ended up in a dress. Alright, Molly. Okay, Molly, you just, you want attention. You want attention. Come here. Come here. Come on. Up. Up. Come on. Come on. Okay, you found your bump. Well, uh, we tricked them by disguising ourselves as Peach, and somehow they fell for it. And we're back on the Koopa Cruiser. You know, back at the beginning of the game. Apparently, it somehow got up, uh, upgrades. Actually, wait a minute. It, like, blew up, didn't it? So who repa who was repairing it? 
That's actually a good point. Who was repairing the cruiser? Was it Fawful? Oh, there's a lot of blue beans here. Ah, uh, yes, back in tutorial area. No, it's a good thing they didn't put any torches here that we had to get past. And only electric stuff. You know, it would be a shame. Uh, we wouldn't be able to get through the Cooper Cruiser if there was like a torch we had to lit. Man, Valletta was so thoughtful of thinking of only capturing Luigi and letting him escape and not capturing Mario at all. Anyway, uh, back. Some mushroom. But yeah, we're we're almost done with the game. Huh? We should be able to finish it today. And even then, you don't even have to hit all these. It's just for who beans if you want. Although this is the only time you can get these who beans, so you better grab them. So not only did we get Peach back, we got the, we still kept the Bean Star. Crack! How could this happen? Not only once, but twice. We chase them now? No. Instead, we go to the Mushroom Kingdom. M Mushroom Kingdom? What's the plan? You know, I am pretty sure that wouldn't work as a parachute, but I guess Peach uses it all the time, so I guess that works maybe. Excellent work, Mario Bro. Is the Bean Star safe? Oh, he tried. He tried Luigi's predicted landing site. I wonder if Master Luigi will land here in splendid fashion. Oh, I just hope he can escape safely. Mm -hmm. Hey, Lu Peach Luigi was the one that was in actual danger. You should be thanking him more than Mario. Ah, could that be him? No, on the other side of the rocks. Oh, Prince Beasley. <laughs> what a perfect landing! And if the Bean Star made just the and the Bean Star made the trip just fine. Say, where's Luigi? He seems to be struggling somewhat over there. In underground ruins. <laughs> Look at Luigi, always showing off his Luigi dunk. Honestly. Mario, I leave his welfare up to you. You can handle it. I must return and move the Beanstar to a safer place. I'll see you later. Mr. Mario, I must say, being here is unhealthy for the princess as well. We shall return to the castle ahead. Please take care of Luigi. Mm -hmm. Shall we go, Princess? Well, time to go save Luigi. Uh, we'll save later. We already saved a little earlier, so we're fine. Okay, this is the side of Tiki Valley I was thinking of for another enemy. What was that earthquake? That's purple. This is that green guy. Which means that red guy should be around somewhere. Well, for now. Rookie! Tie this guy up! Ah, uh, you got a new rookie! I wonder who it is. Landing site. And no Luigi. 
Luigi. We can't swap to him. He's captured. Slash may be unconscious. Uh, stronger uh, purple uh, dry bones. And I don't really need to fight anything. Oh no, I can't save myself. And I can't come. I can't go back up without Luigi. I'm not hitting it, okay. You can make a save here. If there is something hidden, I am currently not hitting it. Oop. I need to check the end of that little walkway. Let's see. Nope, I'm not finding any hidden blocks. Luigi, we're all tied up. Time to save you, bro. Mario, Luigi. <laughs> what an emotional reunion! Oh wow, my hanky is scooping wet with tears. Boo, stupid who? You red. I've been waiting for you to arrive, see? Oh yeah. I went and found me a rookie here. One that will take you down for me, see? Darling, what's with all the ruckus? It's Birdo. Oh, why must they be here? Why can't they why can't we be alone, darling? Speaking the language of love. What? Who are you calling darling? Now is not the time to be doing this, see? This is a uh, um Dame passed my ad audition perfectly, see? She's my all-new, bigger and better rookie. Bur Birdo. Darling. Don't call me Birdo. Call me Birdie. I don't care about names, see? Ha <laughs> ha, I show you. You here, you're all bamboozled, see? With my rookie's new power, you'll see what I mean. Yes, the power of love. Quit! Stop freaking me out! I don't care what kind of power it is! Any kind will do! I will destroy you, see? Destroy you! Yeah, here comes destruction, you couple of knuckleheads! Final fight with Popple. And of course, like all other Popple fights, actually except for the last one, we need to get rid of Popple first. So let's see, let's start with... We... Uh... I don't think we need to steal anything, but I'm going to anyway. Or try. Whatever. So, there was a badge that we got from Hermie 3. Or Hermie the Third, I should say. And that badge was a ribbon. It turns out in the Japanese version, you actually stole that from Birdo. I don't know why they swapped it. But I don't think Birdo actually has anything to steal. Okay, you just get a golden mushroom out of him. Well, in this case, let's go ahead and use the advanced thunder rose. Uppercut. Go. Yeah, you're not stealing my stuff, Bob. He has the defense and the attack drop. So I'll go ahead and... Well, Birdo's not going to run away if I get rid of Popple first, so we can, we can focus on Popple. Uh, wait. Do I want Chopper? Yeah, we'll, we'll go Chopper. I gotta get used to that. I haven't really done advancing. Anyway, let's go ahead and go... Done. You may have 
it, my dark. That's as far as you go. Now she's a now Birdo's angry. So weaken the attack. There, get that lightning uppercut. Oh, maybe it didn't work. Okay, swing bros. An ultra syrup, okay. Well, it's something. Uh, so... There was a combo move that we missed out on. Again, kind of like the other Popo and Rookie fights, we missed out on their team- their bros moves, basically. Uh, in this- Actually, in this one, uh, Birdo will just kind of eat Popple and then spit Popple into four- four eggs, and Popple's hidden in one of those eggs. The defense drop is now ended. Well, that's done. Easy. Level 33. Mario, I'm just gonna have you focus on speed and power. Now. I wanna make sure at least someone has very high speed. You need to focus on HP. Because you're not getting any HP boost from these level ups. Again, I need him to have over 100. You, you, look at you. Pathetic. You're useless, see? You, you, you're fired. Are, are you saying that it was all my fault? Oh, shocking. Shocking, I say. This is a test for me. Yes, the powers that be want me to go out on my own. Once I overcome many hardships, I shall be one step closer to superstardom. I can't believe I lost to you. And that's the last we see of Fawful. Or, uh, 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 uh Fawful. Not Fawful. Fawful. He's done. That's it. Let's go. Let's go ahead and get out of here. And where are we now? Uh, okay, right at the beginning. Uh, let me go ahead and check some of this area over here. Because there's another enemy I want to try to find. Might as well. We got time to go. There's a certain enemy I want to try to find. There it is! The Limbo Bro. heading towards uh, the ruins to save Luigi. We ran into a limbo bro, and I want to steal from him. But right now... Is that what we're looking for? The ancient pants? That is what I'm looking for. We didn't steal it, but we got the drop. Thank you, Game Boy Lord SP. Ancient pants. What does that do? It's worse than the Queen Bean Jeans. But if you want to guarantee mushrooms from battles, you can. It's slightly moldy pants. So the one thing you've been noticing, though, rising hate of, of character in Overwatch. Uh, Q 
Kiriko is a smart character and she has gameplay problems that ruin the game flow. However, that's not the problem people have. Oh. What's the problem that people have? Again, I don't really keep track of what goes on in Overwatch. Another pair of ancient pants. It's very moldy. I think I'll just go ahead. I'm not getting this timing right. Jumping way too soon. There we go. And I think I got an extra pair of ancient pants. Well, if I want to win more mushrooms, we can do that. Okay, now we can head out. You know what? Before we go to Bean Bean Castle, I'm gonna make a stop at Little Fungi Town. We'll take the shortcut. And I want to see if there's anything new at the shop that we can buy. I hear her interactions with everyone in the game. She has that main character syndrome score. She tries to one-up everyone in interactions. Oh, no. That would get annoying. I would find that annoying, too. Yeah, I would think that would be annoying. Just constantly trying to insert yourself into the situation. I don't know if it's, like, anything close to this, but, like... I don't know if you've played Final Fantasy XII, but... Final Fantasy XII is a game where the main... I think it's kind of trying to do a Final Fantasy X where the main pro tag is kind of the, the outsider that uh, doesn't really know anything what's going on. Kind of like the self-insert, right? But the main character is actually another one of your party members. I think it was doing that again, except it didn't... Uh, Tidus uh, was that done, right? Uh, 12, uh, Vaughn is not. Because he's not like... It's not like an isekai. But the problem is he constant Vaughn constantly tries to insert himself into situations in the story because you know he's the main pro tag. Except he isn't. The main character is Ash. She's the actual main character. And there will be sore situations where it's really focused on her. She has all the character stuff going on. And then Vaughn just has to insert himself into the situation. It's very annoying. Is there anything new? There are new stuff to buy. I guess I can... So there's peachy jeans. Which I don't have, but I must... You know why I ran out of money. Mush wind pants. Wind mushrooms. I didn't... Oh yeah, I think I ran out of money. Mush luck pants. Lucky mushroom. Your luck equals your mushroom count. Scandal jeans. These let you move before Mario. Honestly, the trade-off there in stats is not bad if you want to go first. Much luck pants could be useful. I'm just gonna buy these and then... Oh wait, I forgot to check badges. What have we got? I didn't... Oh, you know what? I didn't buy some of these. Uh, spiny badge double A. I could have bought these a lot sooner. This one is better than the one we stole from Mom Piranha. So there's not much reason to steal from Mom Piranha. Hey. She has connections with the Japanese characters, so Gen uh, Genji and Hanzo. She's not that bad, but you feel like she's over. But you feel like she's super overconfident. Uh, okay. So yeah, uh, this is probably the best version of Spiny Killer Jump. And I could have bought this a while ago, and I just forgot to check. Mush Badge. Shroom Force. Must have for Mushroom Fanatics. The, this. Mush Badge. A. I would definitely want two of those. Or, at the time, Grab Badge. Makes monsters drop more items. I can see the use for that. Mush Badge Double A. Ooh. <laughs> oh my god. They, look at how much, how pricey that is. 
Oh, wait, no. Hold on, I forgot something. I forgot something. Luigi! Have the cobalt necktie. There, now your stash is even fancier. Now we get a bigger discount. See, look, we have a 39% off in instead of a 4% reduction. I want two of these. This is just something I should have. Look, the power boost is fine. Like, that's not the big deal. It's just, if you freaking have mushrooms, you're overpowered. I don't need, like, that's all you need. Granted, I haven't used the one, uh, the mushroom force because, like, it's too powerful. It, it, it's way too powerful. If you really take the time to grind out mushrooms, it is too much. The only time someone shut her down was Genji. She brings up his bull cut haircut. Okay. Uh, when he was a child. Brings up she copied everything he did, and when she denies that he, he mentions he has pictures. Ah. I think I kind of see her dynamic. Oh no! What the? Oh, we can't. We can't just warp here. That's dumb. Is this a permanent loss? No, I don't think it is. Well, we gotta head back to the castle. We kind of have an idea of what's happening based on the music. Oh no. Super mushrooms. Well, it'll help with shroom force. Wow. Oh no. It's destroyed again, and this is why those two side quests at the Bibing Kingdom were missable. The skies are raining destruction! It's the end of everything! The town will be destroyed! We all gotta take refuge. You should too. Yeah, this is why those two side quests were missable. Oh, what? And the bridge is broken again. Is there anything new in the shop? At least it's still open. What do we got? Okay. The B brand jeans. Only two Luigi. You get a little bit of an AHP regen. She likes the bears again, Jean, though I don't think it... In a, I want to ruin your relationships, but in a family circle. Oh, okay. Heart slacks. Durable gear worn by Bean Star Bean Bean troops. It gives you a defense up. Again, this is a question where I'm not sure. Like, obviously, you have your. Uh, it's less defense on the base defense than the Queen Bean jeans. But I don't know how that defense up works. Because that's the, the stat buff. And maybe that just makes it better in the long run. I don't know. Like, I would need to know. I would need to look in the code, basically. Figure out how the defense up and down, attack up and down works. Casual slacks. Great looking business casual pants. I definitely want one of these for Luigi. I need to equip a cobalt necktie. You am with the moment on, uh, you're with the movement on hating on Kukuko. Is it just like, uh, you're, other than the Genji interactions, you find her annoying? Yeah, I want, I want at least one pair of casual slacks. And that's going on Luigi. He needs more HP for what I need him. For what I need to do, he needs more HP. This other stuff, I don't need. Let me check the badges. So let's see. Salvage, that's the item grab one. Okay. Oh, I have, these are new, okay. Tracks monsters that have items. Okay. The Opa badge. Pa a mystical badge from the ruins. Power down? Power drain? It's 
probably Power Drain. Brilliant badge. Just a shiny badge dug up behind the shop. Uh, it gives more power. Sarge badge. Power up. Briefly power uh, boost power points. Okay. Again, it looks weaker, but it makes you wonder if it's uh, if the power up is just ultimately better. General badge. Significantly increases bros points, but not with the throws rock. Uh, that's actually just straight up better for Luigi. You just want pure stats. Tank badge. HP up when you... HP regen when you use jump attacks. Okay. And we're back to looping around. There's nothing here I really want. But I could just give this one to Luigi. It's not hurting anything. I think I'll save my money for later. But, you know, that's... Yeah, Blizzard wants to replace D.Va as the poster child with Kiriko, but it doesn't work because D.Va's whole thing is that she's friendly with everyone unless they're enemies of her. And creep. Hmm. So, they're trying to replace someone who's friendly to everyone to someone who's actually kind of anti uh, antagonistic to almost everyone. Maybe not antagonistic, but... Uh, just... Uh, bossy to everyone, maybe. I don't know. The dialogue with Lucretia doesn't like it at all. Oh, okay. Oh, Mario Bros. This is our most des uh, desperate hour. The end of the Bean Bean Kingdom may be at hand. Bowser's castle has unleashed an assault on the Bean Bean Kingdom from the skies overhead. That's why they went back to the Mushroom Kingdom. This is how Let is doing. They're utterly defenseless against an attack from the sky. We have safely evacuated Princess Peach and the others to Little Fungi Town. Hmm. At least Princess Peach is safe. That's something. But if we don't do something about Bowser's castle, our poor kingdom may not survive. Huh? What's that now? You know something about Bowser's castle? You say you know how to get uh, from Bowser's room to the bathroom? Huh, odd thing to say. Hey, Sydney, how's it going? We're we're at the final stretch. Oh yeah. Doggo time. Oh, okay, Molly. You hear that, Molly? You're you're being called. Come here. No, come here. You are needed on camera. Come here. Are you appearing on camera? Let's see. Yeah. There you go. Hi. I know. What's going on? How's it going, Sydney? Molly's not facing the camera, but you know, she's on camera. It's something. Right, Molly? Oh, what's going on? What's going on? Hi. Well, how are you doing? <coughs> what's Molly? What, are you camera shy today? Are you camera shy? Or are you just uncomfortable? What's going on? Molly, over here. Over here. Face the camera. Face the camera. Yeah. Headphones, no. <laughs> okay, what? Well, one second. There we go. There we go. And hi. Hi. There we go. We got it covered. We got Molly to face the camera. But yeah, we're near end game. Bow uh Cacletta took over Bowser's body, and now after we save Princess Peach from Bowletta. She went back to... Cacletta went back to get Bowser's castle, and now we're at the final dungeon. Yes. Hi, Molly. There. You were called on camera. This is what they wanted. This is what the audience wants. Audience li audiences like puppy dogs. Yes. Yes, they do. Yes. Okay. Okay. Whoa, whoa. Be careful, Molly. Okay, she's done. <laughs> There we go, she got her bone. No, she wasn't sleeping or anything, it's just being weird right now. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with her. I think she just wanted her bone or something. But yeah, how are you doing today? You're saying that you Mario Bros know Bowser's castles like the back of your backs of your hands. Everyone feel very reassured knowing the Mario Brothers are going up to that horrible castle. 
No, this is our kingdom's problem. We cannot impose upon them any more than we have. Well, they certainly may be true. Farewell. Oh, Prince Peasley, whatever, whatever are you doing? You mustn't go to Bowser's castle all alone. The day going so far? Yeah, the day's going all right. Um, I think we're gonna we're gonna be finishing this game today, so that's 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 a good sign. Uh, Your Highness, can we not think of the of a countermeasure ourselves? But what? How has your day been going so far, Sydney? Of course, let us do just that. Cowering here will get us nothing. I think I need to talk to them. Or. I'm not sure, hold on. If you plan to invade Bowser's castle, then you are brave indeed. Uh, this is just a thought, but isn't there someone who can fly anywhere in our kingdom? If I were younger, I would clean off to his legs and chase after the prince myself. Ah, uh, but sitting here talking about that won't make it happen. Okay, yeah, we need to find someone who flies. Yeah, uh, Queen Bee shakes the, shakes the ground with her jumps. Yeah, it looked more like the old Scott line. You know, bef you know, before I decided to get a haircut, basically, right? I'm assuming that's what you mean. Uh, what would be the fastest way? Day going cool? Very nice. And the map has now been updated to show Bowser's Castle. Earlier on, the map was kind of like flipped down this way so you can see this corner. But now that Bowser's Castle is here, uh, it's now on the map. Thank you, Sid. Thank you. I still debate on what, what to do with my beard. Whether to trim it or just let it grow out. I don't know. But yeah, we gotta head all the way back to Ho-Ho Mountain. And we gotta fight... Oh, no, not fight. We gotta talk to Blablanadon. Any subs? Um, yeah, technically, right now, one person is subbed right now. But no, uh, not many people have subbed so far, but that's just as it is. Why you ask? And here we go, blah blah the dog. Need to talk to you. What? Bowser's castle is attacking Bing Bing Kingdom? Person. Yeah, yeah, I saw that picture. Yeah, that streamer does look a little bit like me. What? Well, Bowser's castle is attacking the Bing Bing Kingdom? Prince Peasley is in there. Hmm, this is no small matter. Not s no, not small, not small at all. Okay, grab on into me. We're going to Bowser's castle. Are you ready? Yes. Off to Bowser. For the final dungeon. I'll be waiting here for you. If you want to leave this castle, just talk to me. Go grab. I don't know why Bowser's Castle ha has beads. But it, it, hidden in the ground. I don't know why Bowser did that. Oh, great, Bowler. The Mario Bros, who I hate, are coming this way. <laughs> Bah, no matter. Then never make it here. Koopalings, your time has come! Ah, the Koopalings. <laughs> that didn't go well. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, just because we we streamers look similar doesn't mean we'll commission. That's not how it works. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's not how it works. But yeah, no, the Koopalings are back. And to be honest, I know we're kind of sick of the Koopalings nowadays, but back in 2003 when this game came out, it was kind of a big deal. Because the Koopa, the Koopalings haven't really shown up in a game since Mario World, I think. I think that was like the last game they were in before this. I know, it's a funny thought. Tripped. Uh, yeah, we'll just fight like normal. But yeah, any luck trying to get commissions other than that? Okay, 
attack from the top, it's the bullet from the side, it's the cannonball. Got it. Weather on your side? It's actually rather sunny. It's not that bad. Weather's fine. It's been, like, cloudy the last few days. But so far the weather's... Uh, it hasn't rained in a few days, but, you know, we're doing good. Now we make a save. I know, I get it. I'm just trying to make conversation. It's all. But we're here on the first fight with Iggy. Oh no, he's doing a spin move. And now we are. Well, aren't you in California? Isn't that like always sunny? Oh no, our controls are not reversed. Up is right, down is, no, right is down, down is left, and left is up. It's not reversed, it just kind of moves to the side. But if you hit the fireball, you have to get confused again. <laughs> yeah, I would say it's more rare to, for it to be sunny where I am. Although, okay, summer months is not that bad, but most of the time, it just rains. We got some rains this year. Well, but California probably needs it. That's for sure. Yeah, it rains like all the time where I am, so... It's not really, uh, I, I think it's more rare for it to be sun. Oh. Time to get confused again. I can't skip this. Oh yeah, uh, we may be near the end of the game, but like the plot, so f the plot of the game is basically Witch from the Bean Bean Kingdom. Steals Princess Peach's voice, but turns out it's not Peach. Oh, now the controls are reversed. Okay. I'd love to see Luigi's Mansion streams. I do have the first two games. It could be possible. Uh, and Luigi's Mansion 2 is currently either out or about to be out on Switch. I do have the 3DS version. Luigi's Mansion 1 does have retro achievements. Let's see how. Uh, let's see what we can steal. Have you played Mario Luigi before, or you know anything about the series? I should ask that first. Yeah, I haven't played three though. That's like the only one I have to play. Uh, but yeah, uh, which from Bean Bean steals Peach's voice, but it's not Peach's voice. It was a fake. Uh, eventually we, we kill Bacletta. Her soul takes over Bowser, and now it's Bowletta. And that, that's the short answer, I guess. You got a one-up mushroom, okay. We had to do things like jump the border to get to the Bean Bean Kingdom. Oh no, I'm confused! Failed. Oh, never mind. I don't get confused, but Luigi's down. Uh, let's go with just one of the ones. Never played any of the Mario games, but you like to watch Mario games, especially into the RPGs a lot. Well, then you'll like the Mario and Luigi series then. So, real out of the five games that are out, it's a very solid series, except for Paper Jam. But I'm really excited for the new one, Brothership. Let's see, let's this is how I stole something. Let's go let's go with Chopper Bros. And we got the defense down, so that works out. I didn't get the timing right, but we got some damage on there. But yeah, uh what's interesting about this game is if you played this game with the Game Boy player on the GameCube, not getting any of Luigi's Ninja streamers lately. Uh isn't two out now? 
so you think some people would be playing that. And Iggy's down. Hey, look, I'm level 34. I am, I am overpowered, by the way. <laughs> like, this game is very easy when you have any idea of what you're doing. Well, nope, no level for Luigi. None for him. He, he doesn't deserve any levels. But yeah, uh... It's a lot of little moments, like jumping the border to get to Bean Bean Ke uh, Kingdom. Among other things. Fighting an enraged queen and then have to give her a soda that was brewed for a thousand years by telling jokes. And we had, and because Mario drank it all, we had to have Mario spit it into her mouth. The objectives? Uh, you're just kind of going from story beat to story beat sort of thing. You know, Princess Peach's voice was taken, so you have to go to the Bing Bing Kingdom, because that's where Cacoletta was. Oops. Because you gotta get her voice back. And then eventually you fight Cacoletta, you beat her, you kill her, she takes over Bowser's body. Steals Peach, you know, that sort of thing. Now we're at the final stretch. I know I'm really skipping through the plot, but let's be honest, it's really just Peach is kidnapped, except actually no, Peach doesn't really get kidnapped. Yeah. If I was streaming next, ooh, I don't know. I've been debating because I'm going to be going on vacation for a few weeks next month, so I'm kind of trying to do a few smaller games before then. I don't really want to have a game get interrupted. I need to get rid of... Oh, that sniper bill. Oh, Mario's dead. But yeah, if you play this on the Game Boy Player, you can plug in two controllers, and since all the buttons are still usable on the on that, you can actually play this game co-op. That's a lovely yeah. yeah, thank you. Uh, during that time, after I come back from that little two-week vacation, I know exactly what game I want to play. I just didn't want it to get, to get interrupted. Wait, did that bullet bill have legs? You saw that! It had legs! Oh my god. Get my ass kicked. Is it time to use Shrew Force? Probably not. Um, I guess, I guess we'll just keep going. I might need to use a bros move. Yeah, that thing has legs. Also, I just realized, is he using the, the Super Nintendo, like, Super Scope? Go ahead, back. Yeah, yeah, you gotta continue basically trying to do your job, basically. Oh, as are still playing. But still, yeah. I get it. Do what you need to do. Uh... You know what? I think we need to use knockback rows. Well, that works. Mario needs healing. Actually, you know, I forgot to do that. And as are done. But yeah, uh, you have a good day, Sydney. Do what you need to do. Best of luck for uh, commission hunting. While I go ahead and beat this game and then figure out what I got to stream. With. Best of luck, as always. Chopper Bros. So I think Chopper Bros and Knockback Bros are probably the best ones. We've been having a lot of trouble with this fight. They keep healing, so I 
to get rid of them. But yeah, I know exactly what game I want to stream when I get back from that uh, vacation in a couple weeks. I was gonna do it instead of this game, but I didn't want I didn't want it to get into that. Level 34. Luigi, you need some HP. Yes, five HP. Wait, how much HP do you have now? 101, that's exactly what I would want. First things first, because we could get another achievement done. I'm going to take this Woohoo Blend and give it to Luigi. There, he has 105. I want to... I'll use an Ultra. Make sure Luigi's at full health. All right. Another achievement I need to do. Let's see if I can hold this off. Luigi is going to be in so much pain after this. Gotta keep this going. Oh, it seems like it doesn't have to be consecutive. It's just a total. I could have been doing this a lot sooner. Oh. I thought it had to be in one go. Hold on. Oh, it says consecutive. Oh. Okay, maybe you just get multiple coins in a single hit. Or something. You don't always get one coin out of it. Okay, I thought I would have to do that a lot more. Well, Luigi, you're in, in serious pain right now. You deserve that Ultra Shroom. There we go. Luigi's in serious pain right now. He deserves the full heal. Alright. Continue through the castle like normal. That was hard to dodge. He was very close to me. Alright. I know two of the Koopa Lings have something to steal that's not just like a, a, a one-up shroom or something. I forget which ones, and I could look it up. Since I already got that achievement done, I don't... Okay, there is one normal enemy I want to fight while we're here, but we haven't fought the family yet. Okay. Did we make it? Is this a save? This is a save. Good. We are now at Morton's room. There we go. I'm gonna double check the achievements very quick. If I am correct, all that's left is just mostly story stuff. Yes, pretty much just story stuff. There is one achievement where if I mess up, I would have to be the final boss again, but it's basically just a straight shot. Oh no, Morton. Creating shockwaves. Easy. Easy. Let's see what we can seal. Bowser Fist. Okay, was that one of the... Was that one of the... Yes, it was. That was one of the ones we can steal. Okay. Thunder Bros. Yeah, time to too soon. Alright, Chopper Bros it is. I 
in time and left, right? But we got some extra damage. There we go. Try to get that defense drop. Three. Three shockwaves, depending on how many times he spins. How many amount of spins determines the, the total amount of shockwaves? But they're kind of hard to see, especially if probably on the original GBA when there's no backlight. Did we get that attack? We got the defense one. Yes. Oh. You're not making it through this, Morton. And I messed that up, and that's all that was needed. I am overpowered. And again, no Shroom Force. No Shroom Force has been used. And I don't even know how much better it would be right now, because I'm not, like, completely maxed out on Mushrooms. If I was, oh boy. Really, one hidden block, but not two. Interesting. basically had to fight him. Oh, another enemy. Hammer bro. Oh, ignore him for now. He's basically a rookie fight, more or less, without the firecraft. God, that timing's weird. I don't think these gunner guys have any particular weaknesses. But hey, we're actually fighting enemies that are not super weak. Granted, I skipped like a lot of enemies back in Joke's End. So we might actually be on par. It seems like we are on par, more or less. This works out. Yeah, just kinda a rookie fight without the fire breath. Probably easy to just copy and paste some of those ultra mushrooms. There we go. More for my shroom force. good thing to make a save. Lemmy's Room. Again, th the Koopalings haven't shown up since Mario World, I believe. Maybe they were in a, uh, like one of those side games like Mario Teaches typing or something. But other than like, other than those, they didn't show up for a long time. So this was a big deal. Uh, there's no difference to take your pick. Failed. Try again. As far as I know, there's just no way to get tell. Just keep doing this until you hit him. Got him. You cry like a little baby. Also, the couple wings, you could just get like seven boss fights with similar attacks for a lot of them. You can copy and paste. I never liked like the spots on Lemmy's mouth. Like, you 
kind of see some spots here and there. It just always looked like he was, like, sick or something. Well, anyway. Green peppers. Gross? Hmm. Oh, he clones himself. Um... You know what? We're just gonna attack my one. That one is fake. However, we still want to use Thunder Bros. If I could time it right. I somehow hit the real one. Okay. No damage popped up, so we hit the fake. Thunder Bros again. It was the bottom one again. Hmm. Mario doesn't really have a way to hit all of them. I feel like we can get him a defense drop. They probably don't have the defense drop. That way you can't just figure out which one's the real one when you close himself. That's probably why. Alright. Fine. Not not that. Didn't really matter, huh? Well, that's done. Spawn, and you don't need to get rid of all of them, but, like, where's it out? See? Where's it out? Might as well. Here we go. Move on. Down here, we get a hidden room with a one-up mushroom and a bean. Room. Emma. I just kind of want to see. I was going to skip you. Fine, we'll fight you. It's not a big deal. You know, I think we get a full heal every time we beat a boss. And that's why we haven't. I haven't really felt the need to use items. Ooh, lucky Chris. This is why I hate magic Goofus. Just like, nah, I'm gonna full heal you. Man, why is the heal so good? I guess I have to gross move this. Fine. Um. That should be enough, right? No, that's not enough. Chopper. Fine. Whatever. One left. There's no way you can fully heal yourself. We'll get you eventually. Say this, I haven't got a game over. Yeah. I barely had Mario and Luigi die on me. There, 
finally get rid of you. I really don't like magic in this. Ah, this one. Okay. We've done this minigame before. We got four shot, four misses, I should say. again. That, one more. And he just hangs out down here. And we can get down here. Come on. You think that one would be easier, but when he just kind of moves wherever he wants. just random on the work. Nope. Gotta try that again. They escape. There was, you know, the old toy back in the 90s, the Tickle Me Elmo. I'm surprised they didn't make a Tickle Me Mario based on this game. Piranha Plants pros. When tickled from behind, all water gets spit out. Hmm. Which switch is it? Said the left one. That opens the door. The right switch summons an enemy. First fight. Oh, with three Magic Koopas. Seriously getting the full deal. Okay. Knock back. I wonder if it would be better to get the defense drop. Going. 
Well, we got rid of him at once. Time your jump when it's going forward to line up the top fire pit since it's angled. Uh, line it up, line your jump up at the top fire. Now we got the fence trap. It doesn't counter, it just replaces. That's nice. That works. Ultra Syrup. Level 35. Get a speed boost. Nothing for Luigi. Made it to another Koopaling. Ludwig's room. We have to basically uh, jump past his shell. I failed that. At least it fast forwards a bit. I thought it's the same order. It is not the same order. Okay. We just need to last a certain amount of time. It's fairly simple. There we go. Just have them both jump at the same time, and then when it moves forward, one at a time. And he's he left. Mm, what a coward. Well, I guess we're done here. Uh, just getting the back attack. Oh wait, this isn't Final Fantasy IV. Let's see what we can steal. Never mind. Good thing we lowered his attack. Mario only took one damage there. See, it's a huge, it's a huge power drop. It really is. Thunderbirds. Defense drop. Yes. Chopper. Wrong order. Oh well. I'm not that great at the advanced chopper throws. That's kind of why I. Typically stuck around with the normal one. But look, like one damage. That's so sad. That power drop is so useful. Not bad. 134 on the first hit. And again, I don't even have an attack buff. It's just that strong. Okay, Luigi doesn't need HP anymore. I guess we can boost defense. Make him really tanky. Never mind. Didn't get that big of a boost. Well, at least we stole the item. Let's get out of here. Mini Mario. Grab that. Grab that. And hammer. Nope, not fighting you. Okay, where are we at? Oh, 
one of these sections. Okay. We need to go over... Oh, we'll grab this, I guess. Dunk Luigi. Right? Yes. Do that. All the way to the other side. Emma. That. Thunder. Then we go back over here. Meet back up with Mario. Swap back. Mario's turn. Easy. Easy. Very simple. And, yep, move on. Ah, uh, this room, okay. We want... It's Mini Mario's turn. Oh, Booze! Um, I want to fight Booze, but obviously I need both Mario and Luigi for this. I don't really want to fight them with just Mario. We go in here, and we got a 2D section. There no one. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. Hold on. We go down and around. Go to the other side. Here. Then we take this path back over the top. We got an ultra node. An ultra mushroom. We need to make it back this way. It's easy. Over here. And it's Bowser! You know, that's not a Bowletta one, so Bowser had this prepped and ready to go. That it wasn't like a special item. Oh well. It's a nice little actually that's not optional, that's mandatory. But a nice little reference to Mario 1. I don't need random blocks. We'll make a save. Where are we at? We're at Roy. Because Roy's our boy. Right, this. Okay. Did that do it? Wait, hold on. What must you do to hit the high and low bra simultaneously? How come, did, how come those ones didn't trigger? Oh, let's try that again. Yeah, for some reason, that just didn't activate. That was weird. to work this time. It's Roy! Alright, Roy, I've done your little puzzle. It's time to fight like men. Oh, okay. That was easy. What a coward. Well, I guess we'll, it's time to move on, I guess. What? Dead end. Now it's Roy for a sneak attack. 
And now we got a new gimmick. Number on the face of the time bomb reaches zero. It's game over for you. Defeat the Koopaling before the number reaches zero. You got eight turns. Well, I still want to try to steal. Look at that attack drop, like, it's so busted. Max Syrup. Okay, whatever. Lower your defense. Four of these. I don't know why there's, like, no coloration to the shock waves. It might be intentional, but, like, you'd think there would be a better way to see them. Because the other shockwaves are, like, a yellow or a pink. Hundred and twenty on that first hit? No, hundred and thirty. Right? What's Mario's stats? So, does dropping their defense more or less just drops their HP down to one or something? Because that's only slightly more powerful than Mario's actual attack yeah. stat. Well, because I'm pretty sure that attack is based on Mario. I think. I don't know. Some bros attacks seem to actually use the attack style of the other bros. Time to launch ourselves, but there's other items. Let me grab these. Ultra mushroom. Uh, we should have just uh, should just jump for it instead of spinned. Alright, time to do that again. to know what the other item is. Is it worth it? Probably not. And we get a super serum. Alright, that'll help. Alright, one more time. One more time. One more time. find the crystal stars? Uh, hmm. Crystal stars. I, I, I don't think that's this game. I mean, we are just uh, beating the Koopalings, though. How's it going, Monzai? Oh, finally! We can fight Boos! Okay, I want to swing bros on the boot. Been a little while. Random slacks. Been a little while, Monzai. What's been going on? How's your Battle Network 4 playthrough going? Time to gather the Triforce pieces. Yeah, pretty much. It's always gather something. Good. I jumped on the chain shop. Now he's, now he's depressed. Now he's not as strong. Yeah, we're almost done. We just got... There's not much left of the game. Beat do a first try? That's way better than what I did. I didn't beat do a first try. Even on my first playthrough, because I think it's been a while since I fought him. And... Let's be honest. The lack of HP that you have when fighting the first... When fighting the final boss is way lower than what you would normally have in, like, any other Battle Network game. So I wasn't really able to tank some of this. I think 
But yeah, I'm assuming you made sure to get all the purple mystery data on your first run, right? You had all four gun souls and you got search soul. Right. What were, uh, so what were all the souls that you ended up with on your first run? I, I know you were forced to have guns. You ended up with search. What was the one you got uh, for the Hawker Eagle tournament? Well, let's see if we can get another random slacks. Oh, well, there we got two. Oh, and you got roll. Okay. So that should mean that on your second playthrough. You should end up getting uh, Fire Soul, and you should be getting Wind Man, Wind Soul. Your third playthrough is when you get your last Soul from the Red Sun Tournament. I'm pretty sure that's right. But yeah, did you update your? Uh, checklist for those purple mystery data I pointed out. Yeah, which we it would be fun to solve. Okay, you did update it. Good. Okay, what are, what are, what are the random slacks? What does that do? Good on defense, but hard to walk in. Is Casual slacks is way better. Or even the Queen Bean jeans. And you get a random gravity effect? Ugh, no. It reset the database by doing that. So you had to make sure to mark everything again. That's annoying. Um... Oh no, that's annoying. Kinda good thing I. Oh no, I can't use my hands. Uh, it's kind of a good thing then that I haven't been using it because I haven't booted up Battle Network 4. That's what your tests are for, Monzai. Basically, make it publicly available after you die. Thunder Bros. Lower that defense. Oh, they're weak to thunder. Okay. I didn't realize that. Listen for the sound effect. Basically, try to jump immediately when you hear that sound effect. Uh, that sound effect. And. Okay, I didn't realize they were weak to electricity. Boos are resistant to jumps. You can't hit them with hammer. You can't hit them with hands. No. I think you're. I think they just have low HP. Oh yeah. Uh, Monzai, most of the achievements are complete. It's really just the achievements for more or less just beating the game. That's all that's really left. And, uh, I actually, I think as of now, I've stolen all the unique equipment for pants and badges, I think. Or is there one more? Oh no, I missed some I missed one. I did miss one. Wait a minute. Oh wait, when was my last save? When was my last save? Hold on, this is actually important. You're also helping someone with the playthrough at the end too right now. Uh just Oh, they're doing post-game stuff. Yeah, that can, I can see why. Where was my last save? Hold on. Okay. Uh, let me double-check something, because I think I'm going to reset my save. Um, 
because I think Roy was supposed to drop a different item. Bowser Fist. I'm reading that Roy is supposed to drop a, a steal. I'm supposed to steal a different item from Roy. Crazy's Bowser like counterattacks. Yeah, okay, you know what? I think we need to reset. Going after Shadow Man V3. Ooh, Shadow Man's tough. Yeah, I think we need to do redo that Roy fight. It's not hard to get to him. I wanna, I wanna double check. Can I like? I want like his stats. No. I'm told he has an item I can steal. Going after Shadow Man V3, uh, I forget. To get Bodyguard activated, do you need Shadow Man? Or is it that you need to fight Shadow Man so you can get Muramasa, so that way you can use Bodyguard? Forget how it worked. But you, did you tell this other guy uh, the, the money-making uh, plan for uh, Battle Network 2? You need a Shadow Man's chip, that's right. But you can just use any of them, right? Okay, supposedly he has a different item. Let me try that again. I'm only getting max syrups. You need one, two, and three for anti-damage. That's right! You need anti-damage, Shadow Man, and... What else did you need for, for that? Okay, hold on. There's gonna be like a... Is there like a... Give me a, give me a sec. I, I need to look up... Specifically, like, Roy's, like, stats and everything. Like, something's wrong. I'm doing something wrong. Oh, you need drop down, which is in World 3 area 2. Oh, right. That's right. This is not helpful. Okay, like, supposedly I can steal something else from Roy. So far, I'm not getting any luck. I just want to freaking see the stats. That's all I want. I want a list of his actual stats and stuff, like, it shows me everything else. Powers and abilities, profiles and statistics. This is not helpful. God. Can I get... Okay, you know what? I'm gonna try looking up uh, a different path. Let's try typing in the... Something's like wrong. Something's being miscommunicated. No. Come on. I am 
not I'm not finding what I'm looking for. Uh, how come it's like so hard to find certain information? I'm gonna treat the fight like normal for now. But what I will do is if I fail to get it from the item drop, I'll give them one more fight. Maybe the website I am looking at... Uh, maybe the website I'm looking at just has it under the wrong name. Like, it's a different googling that has it. Yes, I know I have six more turns. I remember these fights being very stressful. Yeah, I already sold the item. Okay, okay hold on. Resetting. Okay, I could try two things. We could just try stealing, like normal again, and maybe I just got an unlucky drop. Maybe it's not a 100% steal rate. And the other thing we could try is to uh, unequip the Game Boy Horror SP, although I don't think that actually does anything. So we might give Roy two more attempts. Because I am reading. I should get an ex exclusive piece of equipment from Roy. But like, I'm not finding any luck. If I try... Yes, time goes to zero, it's game over. Come on, screen. Never mind. I gotta at least steal from him. Lower your attack. But yeah, battle number two. Like, bodyguard is your best friend. There were some really broken program advances. Actually, when you're doing multiplayer in Battle Network 2, it really just came down to who can get uh, who can get uh, who can get Bodyguard first, who can get uh, uh, Dark Messiah first, who can get uh, Poison Pharaoh first. That's kind of what it came down to. And if you have hub style, oh boy. But yeah, Monzai, if you were just only playing a single copy of Battle Network 4, this is the time where I would suggest you do the connection thing to try to get uh, to get the other navvies starting at this point, but you're not doing that. There it is, the Bowser Fang. I guess it's just a rare drop, even from stealing. It's not guaranteed. So yeah, be careful, that one's missable. Four turns to defeat Roy. Do I have enough time? We got the Bowser Fang. I was getting worried there. <laughs> but if we take a look... So Bowser Fist is... You get a power-up status effect. Bowser Fang powers up your counter-attacks. And you get a... Okay, wait, no. What is this status effect? 
me look. Okay, power damage just means your counterattack damage goes up. That's all the power dash D means. Okay, good to know. I thought it was like something else. But you saw it gives a big boost to BP. Oh, I got it right. Alright, now we can move on. But yeah, the other person that's playing uh, Battle Network 2, is he using like the broken uh, the broken ships from the, the download ships, like Gospel? In my playthrough, what I did was I didn't even go into that menu until I beat the game once, and that was for any of the games. And then I would test them out and use them in my folder if I liked them. And on, I'm gonna be honest, uh, Gateman SP is not that bad. Like, that's not that bad of a ship. But like gospel, like any of them, those are broken. Get two gold. I'm fine with one. Listen for the sound effect. Nope, too soon. But pay attention to the direction he's spinning. He's attacking Luigi. Time to go with Thunder Bros. There, get that defense drop. Let's try this again. There we go. There's my second pair. There. Now you're deflated. Your anchor arms are gone. Electricity. What about Mario's hand powers? Okay, he also. Who knew? I wonder if they take more damage from the hammer, because they have a helmet. Oh, that might actually be the case. Well, I need to start working on getting rid of the boo. Very depressed, whichever one it is. Thunder Bros. What's that? Let's go ahead and just work on getting rid of the boot. Oh, the chain trump came back. So it has a chance of coming back, or it has a chance of just running away. Well, I was going to test out using the hammer. Not an 
any more. Those are the two, only two Koopa Links that uh, I needed to do. I think those are the only two I needed to steal from. Turn around and go back. That's what it's for. Okay. I was going to say. What was that for? Let me double check. Let's see if, if we need to steal from another Koopaling. Never looked at the sludge heart. HP recovery when you use a hammer. Okay. I still have these mush badges. Anyway. Uh, no. As far as I can see, we don't need to steal from anyone else. I think the boo was the last set of stealing I had to do. Ah, it's windy. See that is 100 a bot channel fake streaming battle network. How, how is it a bot? Yeah, how how is it a bot? Right, press A. Now she's angry. But like, oh, oops. No, I can do this. But yeah, how is it a bot that's uh? I don't know, but they've been streaming the broken Elgato logo for 21 hours at this point. Never once heard them talk. Is what's the point of even just try to get viewers without having to actually do anything? Max. Our icon is a broken beat, uh, JPEG. Mm. I mean, sometimes the point of a channel is to be like, oh, AI plays this and see how well it does something, but it sounds like that wasn't the point. Or I should say, it's, it doesn't hint that it's supposed to be a lot. The do stream the game, it looks like a recording of a random battle network. Right, I don't think, don't think we can actually 
uh, attack down or defense down. I'll try it one more time. Yeah, normal, like, I'm fine with, like, being like, oh, AI plays this or something, but usually that's in the title. And Wendy's done. Do you, you kind of see what I mean, Lonsai, that this game is really easy? Let's see if I look up my name and I the search bar. Oops. I think I want one more boost to speed. They're almost always streaming. Oh, okay. I think the reason is they are always streaming. So that way, try to get as many people to watch at one point. Try to get some ad revenue. Okay. I can see that, that would be an issue. I see the one you're talking about. One viewer. There's no signal. 21 hours. Are they even, like... Are they even playing anything? Or is it just the... Or is it just that there's no signal and that's it? I, I see the one... I see the person you're talking about. No, I mean, so none of their VODs are saved, so no evidence, of course. If it's not a bot, then it's definitely, uh... Then... I don't know if fraud's the right word, but try and take advantage of the algorithm while not putting in the work. I don't know. Oh, this one. Okay. Get ready to light Luigi's butt on fire. We got 13 seconds. Go. Yeah, I didn't have sound on or anything. So I couldn't tell you if they, if there was actual sound effects going on. Like if you can hear that someone's playing Battle Network, but they just never caught that the capture card is uh, not capturing anything. But no, that's not a good sign. I don't know if that's something that's like can be reported, but like you said, there's. The VODs are not there, so there's no evidence. It's too regular. Have you seen this happen multiple times? Like this is like the first time I'm hearing of it. And I don't remember like I streaming when I was playing Battle Network. Well, I was playing Battle Network 1 like a couple like a year before the first Legacy Collection. Or Legacy Collection in general. What do you mean by odd? Like during during this time because no one really played. These are the da down hours, isn't it? The video is oddly cut off. Is it something that can be reported? Be like, hey, look into this. But I don't know. I don't know. You did flag them. Or flag the stream. I guess that's probably the best you can do. Not the game of it. And you're saying that that happened last week? When you did that? But let's be honest here. Like, when I saw there was only one viewer. I don't think uh, they're really getting much out of it. Uh, 
Oh yeah, thanks game. Give me the give me a lot of time to react to what's happening. Got to play a game of tennis. Well, at least he's given me the opportunity for Mario to uh, catch up. Let's go. Okay, so let's go. There we go. Oh no, a time bomb. It's time for Larry. Max Mushroom. I know this, like, this time for streaming, like, basically when I do, is kind of of the... Uh, like, there's less people watch, uh, watching at this time. I think it's mostly due to the... a lot of people are really working, right? So... It's harder for... it's more likely for someone to get away with something like that at this time, because there's less people, you know? Especially when streaming in a... I don't know if it, you call it a niche. Actually, I probably would call it a niche category. But there's way less people that watch at a time. It's really easy to probably hide. See how easy this game can be? <laughs> Level 36. I already got my HP. Might as well just do some attack, I guess. I think that was the last Koopa Link. recognize this room. This room, this boss fight gave me so much trouble to the point where I couldn't, I couldn't beat this fight. It's one of those, I couldn't beat this fight, but I still wanted to play the game, so start the game over type of scenarios. with drama finally now is the time where my true might shines like many angry sunbeams of rage standing in the spotlight at such a gala of spectacularity my nerves are nervous but now that I'm thinking Kikleta's revival was all thanks to my quite nasty efforts. Which means that all this time, I am Fawful, who is just a toady, such working for all other, all for others. And that means the true meaning of our battle gives me fear and confusion. I need no long speech before this battle, which will now be mighty. Snack on my lap, wrath, fake. Think rats? This is when Fawful's realizing that he's no longer a mere henchman. Okay. We can't give him the defense down. We can't steal from him. I think we just do our normal attack. What a wasting! This fight gave me so much trouble. Try as you might, the results will be the same. Wait, it was colored red, so, but you're attacking Luigi. Throwing me off, huh? Try 
As you might, the resulting will be the same. You have a new persistence, and now you and now you eat this. Try to get rid of as many of these as possible. Or all of them, that works too. He overheats. Ouch! Hotness! It is the overheat! What can you get from it? One up super. Okay. You think for Fawful you could get a better item? Thunderbrooks. Now, if you want to drop his defense, from what I understand, fail the second hit. That way you can actually hit him, and we got the defense struck. I don't think we can hit him with the advanced Chopper Bros. That's a lot of damage! Just wait for the lights to flash. Jump. There we go. Going good. Keep jumping, keep jumping. Oh. I gotta get the timing right. And it took me a little bit, but... Okay. I thought there would be, like, a better tell when he's gonna attack again. Like a flash, like... And Mario's down. Mario. I think it's time to use one of my one-up supers. Yeah, we'll use one of my one-up supers. This. Yeah. And of course, he attacks again. spamming this one. Okay, good. Back to normal. You have annoying persistence. jump over them. Did I... Okay, so he doesn't have his defense drop. And I don't think you can get him with an attack drop. I think it's better to use knockback. that easy. Ugh, unless my mind is crazy, I have somehow managed to lose. This must be fate. Ugh, I must accept the defeating. One final attack. I have fury! Ha! Now taste the finale! When carelessness opens the door to a comeback not expected by you, your lives that I spit on are now but a uh, caricature of the cartoon drawn by a kid who is stupid. You shall all fall and vanish with the precious Bing Bing Kingdom, as I laugh heartily at you. 
<laughs> in the finale of the finale, when the negligence begets rashes, rashness, the comeback is, uh, is come back upon. <laughs> I have fury! In the last moments of, in the finale of the finale, when relief leads to negligence that beget, uh, begets rashness, is when that comeback of that faltered comeback uh, comes back and beats your pathetic comeback as I scoff at. Get out of here. Honestly, I love that exchange. It comes off as like, uh, like kids playing pretend or something. Be like, ah, my, I have this power that beats yours. Uh, uh, I have this power that negates your ability. Well, my new ability that I just made up negates your new ability. You know that sort of thing. <laughs> it's funny. It looks like I am indebted to you once again. So farewell. There's nothing here, right? Yeah. Nothing in the boss room. Ultra, mushroom, and syrup. We have made it to the final battle. Not much left. Is there anything on the sides? I don't think there is because you wouldn't be able to save at, at this point. Right. Just double checking. You've done well to make it here. I should have expected as much from the superstars of the Mushroom Kingdom. Unfortunately for you, those who desire to disrupt my plans have a very short feature, uh, features. After conquering the BB Kingdom, I intend to make the Mushroom Kingdom mine as well. My new country has no need for old superstars. It will do just fine with only one, the Great Bowletta. Final battle. Okay, I timed it a little too late there. That's okay. Can, can you steal? You can. A max nut. And honestly, knowing what's ahead, that's a good steal. That's a good steal. Well, I think we might have gotten the defense drop. There we go, right at the last second. Hell, we did get the defense drop. I did not time that right. Let's see if we can get the advance. Did not, I'm not getting the timing right. Oh, we're almost done anyway. Yeah, the purple ones are meant to fake you out. But how much damage was I taking? 10? 9? That's not that bad. That's it. Gah! We did it! We beat Bowletta! The original Bowsette, yeah, I know. And you want to know how how it is more Bowsette? Because look, it's Bowser with boobs. No, cursed Mario Bros. Not again. You guards down. Even with all your fancy attacks, you can't beat me. Farewell, you two losers. It's time you took a nice, relaxing break. If the internet was bigger when this came out, you wonder. You really wonder. In my belly. 
Hey, look, it's it, it's a future uh, sight into Bowser's Inside Story. You don't want to think? You know what would probably happen? It's just more of uh, what does what uh, Cacoletta looks like when she fuses her soul with someone else's body. That's what it would be. Are you still conscious? Ugh, you're a persistent pair. I shall dispose of you quickly and then eat you for lunch. Oh no, okay. I don't have enough speed. And I failed. This is why I was really trying to emphasize speed. A little bit. What's Mario's speed right now? He would be the fastest. One, oh, you know what? That might be fast enough. If we get... We give Mario the Chuckle Blend. So now he's over 120 speed. Because let's be honest, that second... That final... Uh, the second phase... You really have to get good at dodging for that first turn. Because you're at 1 HP. So you gotta hope someone survives. So it really doesn't matter how much damage you take. Because you're gonna end up at 1 HP anyway. But because of that, this max... The max nut that you get out of this is actually a really good item for the second phase. Oh no, the fireballs got healed. But it can heal Bowletta. Bowletta. It's fine. Oh no, my guy hit. Well, we got the defense drop, that's all I need. Yeah, you know what? The art would just be what does what does Mario look like when uh, Cacletta possesses Mario? That's what each of the artwork would have been. never had trouble with phase one. It was always no. phase two. Alright. Let's see if this was enough. Yes! Because Mario is either at or above 120 speed, he is now able to go first. So we can use the Max Nut. Actually, we can use Ultra Nuts and be perfectly okay. But we'll use Max. Full heal. Now we're ready to go. is the main the main thing we need to worry about. This one attacked with electricity, so we should have Luigi use his hand power on the left arm. Here we go. And then use the fire power on the right arm. Mind. Okay. We'll go ahead and let Luigi attack the head. Gone. 
just the head. Oh well, 26 damage, I can do that. Just a jump in the So apparently, this boss fight is reminiscent of a boss fight Alpha Dream made on a game for the Game Boy Color that was before this. You know, a giant head with two arms. So they kind of copy and paste the concept for the final boss here. Man, how much HP does this have? Because I know this ain't the main target. the heart's exposed. I have to try. Nothing. Okay, that's fair. Okay. I was unlucky. But the heart's still exposed. That's what I could use. Try advance on the heart. I failed. And the heart gets healed by electricity. Because the heart's still exposed. Actually, if it gets healed by electricity, I don't think we can get the the attack and defense drops. Yeah, I can heal the other appendages, but that's fine. Not bad. now not exposed anymore. Alright. That hand. That one. I'll try to. There we go. Hearts exposed. Chopper! Thank you. 
there's one attack she hasn't done yet. I just thought of something. Uh, Cat Coletta Soul as DLC character for Arms when? Yeah, if Arms ever got a comeback, there needs to be a guest character, and it's just Cat Coletta Soul. <laughs> Her attacks are getting a little bit more desperate. Royales. Well, it's better that it's not me, and it's also better that it's not the stream lab spot, so at least it's going to someone else. Zawalu doll! Oh, I messed that up. Luigi gets it. Pay attention to where the eyes are going. Like, this was the last move she wasn't able to do yet. There we go. Back. Is that enough? Yes, it is. Heart's exposed again. We actually have a boss fight that's an actual threat. I'm just pointing that out there. One that doesn't die in like two hits. Do what you need to do. Have a good rest of your day. I can tell I cannot lower her stats. Of 
a second there, Mario had a different hammer upgrade. It was like the first tier for a second. we go finally what was that four or five phases ah, what huh? hey what's happening to me there we go ah, no you can't be impossible i no how could i and to this filthy little pair how could i lose To escape. Hey. Cheers to the superstar siblings! I've just finished rigging this castle with explosive device. You must escape before it blows up and falls from the sky. Make haste, I'll meet you at the castle entrance. Uh, yeah, last achievement. Gotta speed through. Nope. And good sign. A good start. don't know if uh, you... I don't think using the fire would make things go faster. major achievement. Well, where am I? What have I been doing? Oh no, my Game Boy Advance is broken. It's broken now. Should we wait? Is something not right? There we go. Here's the last one. Take care, everyone. Please come visit us in Mushroom Kingdom someday. Princess Peach, you have a fine group of friends. I'm Crow quite envious. Don't worry. Lady Lima. Hey. Yo oh, Luigi, you couldn't get your prince hug. Princess Peach, Mario Brothers. I must thank you all. Accept this gift from me to mark our party. <laughs> And now heading back to the mushroom kingdom. What is in that gift? It's a Bowser. Is it really a gift? I think it's more of like, hey, get your get your turtle back. It's going with you. We're not keeping him. And that was Superstar Saga. 
honestly a fun game, if rather easy. I'm wondering how much more difficult the remake actually is. I feel like I want to play that version just to see if the difficulty is actually a lot harder. I think part of the problem was I was just getting too many level ups. Maybe. I don't know. But the enemy stats need to be buffed. But that is the last uh, of the achievements. I have got them all. I could We could go th uh, scroll through just to prove it. But we could do that once the credits are done. Uh, so the game I have planned... I actually don't really know what I'm playing next. Right, give me a second. So, let's see. As far as I know, I have the rest of this week and all of next week. So, I need to pick a game or games that can be be beaten within that amount of time. I'm not 100% sure yet. Part of me thought to go with Battle Chip Challenge honest I don't that might take too long because I don't really have much control wait is that a second Bowser's castle there's no way they made another one because the one exploded huh yeah so I'm not really sure on what game to go next uh, I'm gonna have to figure that out There's nothing after the final boss. There's no super boss or anything. So... I don't think that really... Uh, Post-game stuff really became a thing until Bowser's Inside Story. Wait. Copyright of Kano character Gino reserved by Square Enix. So that implied Gino was a Square character? Or partner, in a way? Huh. That was the Mario and Luigi movie. Thank you for playing. Thank you so much for playing my game. Well, while we sit on the screen for a second, I guess we'll scroll through the achievements. At the top. Hey, no, no, come here. Uh, some of these are not that hard. Well, this one is defeat Bowser without taking damage. Help the Toads uh, and Koopas at, at the beginning of the game. Everything else here is just kind of, you know, play level fives of the mini games, go through the plot, uh, defeat a Goldini. Side quest. That that one's missable. It should say it is, but it's not. Most of these are just play through the game. Uh, get all the designs for Hall Hall. Get the Bros Rock by finding all the beanstones. That one's missable. Arcade mini game, mini games, and progression. Yeah, overall there is only like four missables here. Everything else is actually rather simple. This game wasn't that hard to uh, complete. So you escape Bowser's Castle within 50 seconds. That was the one I was worried that I might have to redo again. Upgrade all your brother's attacks to advance. And that's it. Anyway. Uh, thanks for everyone who showed up. I'm doing these streams Monday through Friday at noon Pacific time. If you want to see the old streams, so that are not on Twitch anymore. They're on YouTube at Scoutbox 64 Stream Archives. There's a link to that page. The next Mario Luigi game will either be Partners in Time or probably Brothership. Or most likely Brothership. Next game, honestly, I'm going to have to just figure that out, so I don't even know. 